Hi everybody, I'm meteorologist Vicki Knapp, but this time we're talking about astronomy. If you want to make a wish on a shooting star this weekend, it'll be the perfect time to do so because it's the peak of the Perseid meteor shower and conditions will be favorable. So what do you need to do? Head outside after midnight and get comfortable. Give your eyes about 30 minutes to adjust to the darkness and then look towards the northern sky where the meteors will appear to radiate from the constellation Perseus, its namesake. And this weekend is the peak with rates of 60 to 70 meteors per hour or about one per minute. And both Saturday and Sunday should provide good viewing with dry and clear weather conditions and also a new moon. And while you're at it, turn to the southern sky where the parade of planets continues with Mars and Saturn both visible locally. But where do these fireballs even come from? Well, we have to start with the journey of a meteor. Any debris or iron chunks in space are called meteoroids. This weekend, specifically, it's debris from the comet Swift-Tuttle. Now, if any of that comes in contact with the Earth's atmosphere, it burns up, leaving a streak of light across the sky called a meteor. And if any little bit of that can make it to the Earth's surface, it then graduates to a meteorite. Now, typically this weekend, the Perseids are a little too small for that because those meteors are about the size of a grain of sand. Enjoy the show.